Hello everyone this is Mukundan Raghavan and today we are going to organize our project structure in simple steps and we are going to install the browser engines apart from that we will try to understand what is browser what is browser engine what are the benefits when you use the browser engine instead of browsers so these are the quick points we are going to discuss today let's jump into the video so before structuring the browser or before structuring the, our folder structure we will try to understand what are the different folders we are going to create we are going to create a main folder called src under that we are going to create the test for the test cases pages for the page object classes and utilities configuration for the different environment so that we can handle the different environments api related things however we are not going entirely api testing but still we can do some utilities some test cases under the apis and reporting part so what are the reporting utils or what are the reporting related activities we are going to do under this folder logging mechanism basically sometime we need the logs for the specific use cases and data for the testing purpose so these are the different folder structure i am going to create even though we create this many folders we don't need to create everything from the scratch now you can see there are no folders now let me start from the scratch so if i go to directly the terminal you don't need to create again and again you can use this terminal commands or the bash commands here you can see mkdir which means the making directory hyphen p stands for it will create the parent structure which means in the first time if you don't have the src folder it will create the src folder then it will create the subfolder called test if it is already there it will create the subfolder under the main folder so this is called hyphen p so we don't need to create one by one just copy all the code make sure you have the namings and the folder structure and the forward slash sometime mistakenly we will put forward slash or the backslash so it will be the forward slash here so let's copy everything paste it and everything is completed now if you see src has been created under the all the folders has been created now let's move our all the sample test cases to the test folder yes and same thing to this one yes now we can delete this sample folders delete and test examples also we can delete now coming to the playrate.config.ts if you go to the folder structure you will come to know there is a folder called playrate sorry file called playrate.config.ts so this is where we will be mentioning where should our framework find the test cases earlier it was like a test folder now we have updated to src test so here dot means current folder under the current folder you will be having the src folder under the src folder you will be having the test folder under that whatever the test cases are available it will be considered for the test cases so that's the reason even if you go to the maybe your test explorer you can see it comes under the src then test and then all the sample test cases so now we have created the project structure we have updated the playrate.config.ts to pick up the correct test cases from the new location now coming to the installation of the browsers or let's say browser engines we will install the browser engines then we will try to understand what is browser what is browser engine before to that as per the documentation your browsers will be available under your folder called app data local ms playwright basically you can replace with your username or the system name then you will be finding the app data if you don't find it just go to the run terminal and type only app data enter you will be having the app data local under that you will find the ms playwright and here will be the place where you will install your browser engines so how to install the browser engines again the terminal commands will be very easy it is called npx playwright install npx already you know that nps will be node package execute playrate install paste it npx playrate install here you can see it is downloading the chromium it's so fast and so easy next one will be the chromium another version i think uh, yes and ff mpeg maybe for firefox then again firefox another version so what we will see what is this ff mpeg playwright maybe we know that chromium we know the maybe firefox we know the web kit it is for the ios so now we have installed everything let's go to the folder and confirm whether we have installed or not yes we have installed try with bod
so this is also another chat gpt kind of thing so you can ask the questions it is from the google in terms of video recording playwright uses the ffmb sorry mpeg for recording the videos for your browser test okay now it's very clear that when you try to record the videos for your testing evidences so that time we need this so that's the reason playwright is trying to install okay now we are fine now let's go to the understanding now we have installed and we have confirmed also let's go to the understanding again now we have the browser it may be chrome browser or it can be the firefox browser this browser will be different but the browser engine is the core part of the browser in browser engine we will have two sub components which are rendering engine and js engine which means that rendering engine will take care of the rendering the html layouts and the elements in the html page whereas js engine or javascript engine will be responsible to execute all your javascript after having this browser engine over there the browser can have other multiple things based on the vendor for example such as like a cache mechanism let's say navigation or bookmark or the url pattern or let's say password manager based on the different vendor it will vary but the browser engine will be same how to understand this again as per the previous chart i can open that and show you so here you can see so some of the main questions we can directly go to the question explain me the browser versus browser engine so browser engine is only the application right whereas browser engine will be the core part for example we have seen chromium has been installed chromium has been used by the google chrome microsoft edge and other chromium based browsers jeco driver will be used from the firefox webkit will be used from the apple safari so that's the reason we will be using the mainly browser engine rather than the browser itself and what are the benefits that you can go through that it is a theoretical part now we will ask a straight forward question what we asked just some time back so basically the relationship between the browser browser engine rendering engine and javascript engine here you can see browser is a software application as we discussed browser engine will be having the rendering engine and the js engine so here you can see rendering engine is a specific component of a browser engine and javascript is another component within the browser part of the browser engine and executes the javascript code so this is the basic understanding and we have understood as a diagram also here browser will have the browser engine and browser engine will have two parts rendering engine and js engine but it is all about theoretical part when it comes to the automation so now we have installed the browser engine and we can execute under the browser engine for any kind of test cases let's take only this test case and try to execute so that we will make sure it is working fine or not so let's click on this so now you can see it is using the chromium because we have configured like that we will come to know those things later point now you can see three test cases has been passed yes we have seen basically how to structure our project src folder under the specific folders and we have updated the the test directory in the playwright.config.ts then we have installed the browser engines by using the command npx playwright install and we have seen how it will be used or how it will be installed in the specific folder under the app data local ms playwright and we have seen what is the main difference between the browser engine and the browser playwright uses the browser engine for the more efficient purpose so this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud <laughs>